Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon movesets video. Today's video is going to be all about Oranguru, so let's get started by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Oranguru is a normal psychic type Pokemon, much like Girafferig and Meloetta, that possesses three abilities, the first of which being Inner Focus, which is an ability that makes it so that this Pokemon can never be flinched by an opponent's attack. Its next ability is Telepathy, which is an ability that makes it so that it cannot be damaged by its teammates in a double battle, and its last ability, which is its hidden ability, is Symbiosis, which allows this Pokemon to pass its item off to a teammate in a double battle once that teammate has made use of their item. As for its stats though, this Pokemon has base 90 HP, 80 defense, and 110 special defense, effectively making it a fairly bulky Pokemon, but for its attacking stats, it unfortunately doesn't have that high of a physical attack, being only base 60, however its special attack, being base 90, does allow this Pokemon to do some pretty substantial damage from its special attacking moves. The last thing to make note of though, is that this Pokemon has a base 60 speed stat, which kind of falls right in that middle range of speed, where it could be very fast with a Choice Scarf, but also could function effectively on a Trick Room team, giving it a plethora of different options depending on how you want to EV this Pokemon. But with that, let's take a look at the first moveset that I have for you in this video. So for this first moveset, we're going to begin by giving this Pokemon a Tibid Nature to boost its speed but lower its physical attack, and then going with the Inner Focus ability as we will be going with on all the sets in this video. As for the EVs though, we're going to put forward to its defense, 252 into its special attack to max that out, and then put the remainder 252 EVs into its speed to max that out as well. As for the item on this set, we're going to go with either a Choice Scarf to boost our speed, Choice Specs to boost the damage of our special moves, a Life Orb to also boost the damage of our special attacks at the cost of losing 10% of our health every time we damage our opponent, but letting us use our moves freely without being locked into anything, an Expert Belt to boost the damage of super effective moves, an Assault Vest to boost this Pokemon's special defense, Leftovers as a way to recover HP at the end of every turn, or Phytinium Z as a way to have a very powerful fighting type move to be used in combination with this Pokemon's attacks, which works very well for a number of reasons, well, which I will get to in just a second. But for the first move on this set, we're going to be making use of a Stab Psychic type attack in the form of either Psychic or Psy Shock. Again, it's really dependent upon what you think this Pokemon is going to need to hit its opponents with, because as many of you may know, Psy Shock actually attacks your opponent's defensive stat even though it is a special move. So both of these have some viability here to be useful. But for its next attack, we're going to be using Focus Blast to give this Pokemon some good type coverage and a way to deal effectively with the Pokemon that are going to be resisting your Psychic type moves, namely Steel types and Dark types that Focus Blast will be able to hit for some super effective damage. And because this move is pretty inaccurate, even though it is very powerful, this is why I am including Phytinium Z as a item on this set because Z-moves really don't have the problem with the accuracy that Focus Blast normally would have, and this could be especially useful for allowing you to get off a very, very powerful Fighting-type hit on a bulky Dark-type Pokemon such as Umbreon that would normally be very difficult to deal with. As for your next move though, we're either going to run Nature Power, which is very cool for this Pokemon because in a battle, it actually turns into a Normal-type Tri-Attack, which you would get Stab off of, which is very cool, or you could run Thunderbolt to just give you some more type coverage here. And for the last move slot, either running Energy Ball or Shadow Ball, again for some additional coverage. Shadow Ball being of particular note because of the fact that this Pokemon still needs a reliable way to deal with the Psychic type Pokemon that would resist its Psy Shock or Psychic. But Future Sight could also be a really viable option in this last move slot to put up a powerful special Psychic type attack on the field that your opponent will then be hit with later in the battle. And this is really cool, especially if you know how this move works, because you could force your opponent out into something that would then take a lot of damage from this move. And I find it to be one of the most fun psychic type attacks to make use of for that reason. Now, if you do want to make use of this Pokemon a little bit more bulky, but still make use of its good special attack stat, you could run it this way as well, which includes giving it a modest nature to increase its special attack but lower its physical attack, and then changing up the EVs to be 208 HP EVs, 252 special attack EVs, and then putting the remainder 48 EVs into its speed to allow it to outspeed base 40 
sorry, 65 speed Pokemon that this Pokemon falls just shy of outspeeding. Also, the other thing to note on this set in particular is that you will no longer be running a choice scarf as an item option, but all the other ones still sand as viable options to run on a more bulky Oranguru offensive set. As for this next move set, we're going to be running this Pokemon as a more boosting attacker. So we're going to start it off again by giving it a Timid Nature and an EV spread of 4 defense and 252 special attack and speed EVs. As for the item though, we're going to either be going with a Life Orb or Expert Belt, or potentially running the Water Z or Fire Z item to work in combination with one of the moves on this set, which I'm going to talk about first even though it is listed last year. So the first thing to make note of is that Calm Mind and Nasty Plot are options as a way to allow us to boost our special attack to further levels, Calm Mind also increasing your special defense by one stage every time you go for it, whereas Nasty Plot has the bonus of increasing your special attack by two stages. But if you do go with Watery MZ or Fury MZ as the item here, you can use that in combination with Rain Dance as a way to not only set up rain but boost your speed, or Sunny Day as a way to simultaneously set up sun and also boost your speed because of how these moves work in combination with these Z items. But for the moves that we're going to be making use of, whether it be through our boosted speed or our boosted special attack, the first one again is going to be using Psy Shock or Psychic as your main Psychic type stab, and then again going with Focus Blast as a powerful coverage option. For your third move though, you can again run Nature Power as a way to have a powerful stab special try attack once it turns into that on, in a competitive battle, or we can make use of Thunder as a way to have a powerful electric type move to be used in combination with the Rain, or Hidden Power Fire to have a powerful fire move to be used in combination with the Sun that you can set up. So both of these options in addition to boosting your speed have another move that can go along with them if you do use Rain Dance or Sunny Day. But if you're just going to make use of your special attack being boosted through the use of Calm Mind or Nasty Plot, Nature Power is probably the most reliable option that you can go with there. As to this next move set, we're going to be running a more bulky variant of a boosting set for this Pokemon. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a bold nature to increase its physical defense but lower its physical attack, and again going with the inner focus ability. As to the EVs, we're going to put 208 into its HP, 252 into its physical defense to max that out, and again putting 48 EVs into its speed to allow it to outspeed base 65 speed Pokemon that it falls just shy of outspeeding. As for the item on this set though, we're going to be running Leftovers as a way to allow this Pokemon to recover HP at the end of every turn in a very reliable way as you try to set up with Calm Mind on this set, which as mentioned before will be boosting your special attack and your special defense by one stage. To be used in combination with this though, again we're going to choose between Psychic or Psy Shock as your main stab Psychic type move, and then running Focused Blast or Nature Power as your secondary attack option on this set, to either get dual stab between Psychic, Psy Shock, and Nature Power, or giving you some better type coverage by including Focus Blast on this moveset. As for your last option though, we're going to be running either Substitute as a way to get behind a protective barrier to shield you from attacks and statuses while you attempt to set up, or Rest as a way to recover all of your HP and get rid of any negative statuses you have received while you're setting up to allow this Pokemon to then make use of its stat boosts a little bit more effectively if it's able to continue to regain health and damage its opponents. As to this next move set, we're going to focus on using Oranguru under the effects of a Trick Room that it's going to set up on its own. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Quiet Nature to boost its special attack but lower its speed, run the Inner Focus ability, and then an EV spread of 252 HP EVs, 4 Defense EVs, and 252 Special Attack EVs. As to the item, we're going to be running Leftovers as a way to recover HP at the end of every turn, a Life Orb to boost the damage of all of our attacks at the cost of losing 10% of our health every time we damage our opponent, or Psyche MZ as a way to work in combination with one or two moves on this moveset. But for the first move that we're going to be going with, it is going to be Trick Room as a way to basically invert the speed stats on the battlefield and thus make Pokemon that are very slow, the ones that go first, and the fast Pokemon go second. Once we have this set up, we can then make use of our main stab psychic type move in psychic and psy shock again like all the other sets and then making use of either focus blast or nature power in your third move slot for some more type coverage or a secondary stab option for your fourth move however there are quite a few options to go with again nature power is listed there to be used in combination possibly with focus blast if you want trick room and three attacks 
but you could also run Nasty Plot on this set as well to boost your special attack by two stages, and then go for Trick Room to make use of your boosted special attack by then outspeeding everything. But the alternative option to this could also be running Psychic Terrain in this move slot as well to have a few different effects. The first thing that Psychic Terrain does is that it boosts the power of all Psychic type moves, of which would be boosting then your either your Psychic or your Psy Shock on this Pokemon. But the other option, or the other thing that Psychic Terrain does, is it blocks priority moves from occurring. And then finally, Psychium Z, when used in combination with Psychic Terrain, not only sets up the Psychic Terrain, but also gives you a plus one special attack boost, which essentially allows it to function in multiple ways and allow this Pokemon to boost its stats and set up a Psychic Terrain to block priority, which you're going to not want while you have Trick Room up because you want to be faster than everything. So this is a particularly interesting option that this Pokemon has access to on a Trick Room set, but if you want to go for something that's a little bit more standard, Nasty Plot or Nature Power are the ways to go for this last move slot. As to this last move set, we're going to be giving Oranguru a little bit more of a support defensive role on the battlefield. So for this particular set, we're going to start by giving it a bold nature to increase its physical defense but lower its physical attack, going with the inner focus ability, and then an EV spread of 208 HP EVs, 252 defense EVs, and 48 speed EVs. As to the item on the set, we're going to go with leftovers to recover HP at the end of every turn, or the light clay item to work in combination with two screens that you're going to be setting up yourself if you choose to go that route. But for the first move on the set, we're going to be making use of again a main stab psychic type move in the form of either psychic, psy shock, or future sight on the set. And I do want to point out again how useful future sight could potentially be on this particular set because we're using a Ranguru to help your team out and support it throughout the battle. So Future Sight can be very useful to turn a disadvantageous situation into an advantageous one if you're able to catch your opponent on a Pokemon that is going to be unfavorably hit by Future Sight. But for your second move, we're either going to run Nature Power for another stab option or Foul Play to turn your opponent's attack against them. It's also important to note that on this set, Nature Power is particularly useful due to the fact that when it turns into Try Attack, it's going to have a chance to paralyze freeze, or burn your opponent, which Oranguru will definitely benefit from occurring. As for your third option though, if you did go with Nature Power in your second move slot, Foul Play is yet again another option, but if you want to go with a dual screening route, you can throw Reflect here in your third move slot to boost the defense of your team, and then for your fourth move slot, also running Light Screen to boost the special defense of your team for 5-8 to eight turns depending on whether or not you use the Light Clay item. If you don't go the dual screening route though, Running Taunt in your fourth move slot is a very useful option to allow this Pokemon to prevent any of its opponents from going for any non-attacking moves, which is why also it's important to run some speed on this set to give it the advantage over some of the slower Pokemon that it just falls shy about speeding. But anyways everybody, that is it for this video on this really cool new monkey Pokemon. I hope you all enjoyed these movesets, and as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.